with the second pick in the 2007 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Kevin Durant from the University of Texas.
This has been an epic series for the Fed champions headed back. Dean Blevins, CBS Oklahoma City. Um, guys, when you look back on the series and um, things that frustrated you, is there a certain sequence or a time in any of these games, or do you think it will be the, the loss in game six there where you had a chance to close them out at home that will, that will hurt the most? Uh, you know, it hurts losing. It hurts losing, especially being up three games to one. Um, but, you know, games uh, three and four, you know, they missed the shots that they hit game, game six and seven. And, um, you know, that was our plan. I mean, they, they, they started, they beat us from the three-point line the last two games. We beat them everywhere else. They beat us from the three-point line. And that was that was the, that was a series. So, um, you know, we, we fought, everybody fought hard every single minute they were on the court. It sucks to lose. It, it sucks. But, um, you know, it, it was it was tough. It was a tough series. The Warriors welcoming Kevin Durant to the Bay Area, the all-star forward, introduced at team headquarters during a press conference viewed around the world. General Manager Bob Myers and head coach Steve Kerr welcoming Durant, and we joined in as well as we interviewed him on the way from the airport to Warriors headquarters. Just from knowing, you know, play with Steph and Andre at, uh, you know, uh, world championships and, you know, being an all-star game with the whole Warriors staff and, you know, Draymond and Clay. I just felt like they just meshed so well together, and it just seemed uh, effortless. You know, it was it was kind of organic, and I and I felt that uh, when I met those guys and started talking to them a little bit more the last few days. So it just seems like a perfect fit, personality-wise, man. I was I was excited. I got an opportunity to get to know them on a different level. Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple. That's just how I look at it. Uh, it's not that he's leaving. Oklahoma City. If you're not happy there, you want to move on and you want to grow as a player, or you know, there's nothing wrong with that. He's one of the top three players in the world. He's a quintessential superstar. He deserves all the credit in the world for the talent that he possesses. But the flip side is this. They were up 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals. Not one, not two, but three different times. He was 48 minutes removed from um, getting to the NBA Finals by winning the Western Conference. Three times he failed, particularly in Game 6. And you depart for the team that beat you? When you're on the cusp of getting to the finals yourself or ultimately winning the championship for the franchise that you've been with since you've come into the NBA, I think it's incredibly weak. And I don't want to hear any comparisons to that of LeBron James when LeBron James left Cleveland for South Beach. When LeBron left Cleveland, the cupboard was bare. Uh, he was the basically he was basically the only dude in Cleveland. It was LeBron James and a bunch of no names. In the case of Kevin Durant, you have one of the top five players in the world as your teammate. You've got Billy Donovan, who's proven to be an exceptional coach. You've got a coaching staff. You've got a first class organization. You've got Enos Canton, Stephen Adams, and all of these boys. You are legitimately a championship contender. You are the difference. You are the superstar, and you depart. For the team that beat you, that's been that's the two-time reigning uh, defending Western Conference champions, who's won a championship in the last two years, you're jumping on a bandwagon as far as I'm concerned. That's just the way that I look at it. I don't think there's any way to deny that. Uh, you know, all the reporters, whether it's Ramona, it's Chris Broussard, everybody doing an exceptional job, you know, pointing out the things that they point out. I don't disagree with anything anybody is saying. But in the end, what it comes down to is that Kevin Durant is one of the top three players in the world, and he ran away from the challenge that he faces in order to jump on the bandwagon of a team that's a little bit better, that's already rife with at least one superstar, a couple of guys that can really, really get it done. I just view it as him jumping on the bandwagon, and I think it's the weakest move I've ever seen by a superstar, plain and simple. Kevin, this is your quote. I've been second my whole life. I was the second best player in high school, second pick in the draft, second in the MVP voting three times. I came in second in the finals. I'm tired of being second. I'm not going to settle for that. I'm done with it. Stand by that? Definitely. I mean, people just always say that it's cool. You're top three. That's cool. It's all right to be a top three. They say, baby, how you do it? Never question greatness. Never question greatness. Tell them never question greatness. I just do it. I'm so high, I feel weightless. 
All my shooters are courageous. It ain't a moment till I make it. It ain't a moment till I make it. Have my cake and need it too. I want a bakery and see lately. All I've been doing is celebrating. I don't even know what I'm celebrating. I know why you ain't celebrating. Cause you ain't salinating. They got niggas catching cases while we out here catching breaks. And I'm gonna shoot it if I wave it. Shoot it if I wave it. Do yourself a favor, save yourself. Cause I can't save you. Know you see me in that Rolls Royce, glass house. That nigga, hands down. No giving up, no land down. All red. Son just turned five. I said, little nigga, you a man now. Ride around with that strap out, cause my Rolls Royce glass house. I just got a text that said, baby, I just cashed out. Whack weed, get ashed out. Put Persian rugs in a crack house. All y'all that lashed out, I'll come see what that's about. But you don't need to call a fire man to put a motherfucking match out. I can't remember my last drought. All my niggas smash mouth. Got pure coke, brand new birds. We get them as soon as they have slime, and you know the driveway too big. When you ain't got a back. Till I make it. Have my cake and eat it too. I want a bakery and see lately. All I've been doing is celebrating. Don't even know what I'm celebrating. I know why you ain't celebrating. Cause you ain't celebrating. They got niggas catching cases while we out here catching breaks. And I'm gonna shoot it if I wave it. Shoot it if I wave it. Do yourself a favor. Save yourself cause I can't save you. Know you see me cause my roof fall in my trunk. No, he did when the horn hung. Niggas say they kings, they lying. Boy, you talking to a car shop. I already made my mark. Please don't think I just pop cooks. Got these voices in my head screaming. Can't believe they're not. Horse. Bitch, I've been a beast since cartoon sheets. It's real on the field. I need new cleats. I'll groove these. Catch you while you sleep. Turn your sheets to maroon sheets. Them choppers turn your own boys into amputees. And that's not a good look. Mama was a chef, but daddy cooked the work. Said I know it stank, but it's good. Look, we treat them triggers like repeat buttons. Leave it all out there, leave nothing. Like the world of crystal ball, I keep rubbing it. Ain't a moment till I make it. It ain't a moment till I make it Have my cake and need it too I want a bakery and see lately All I've been doing is celebrate Don't even know what I'm celebrating I know why you ain't celebrating Cause you ain't celebrating They got people catching cases While we out just catching breaks And I'm gonna shoot it if I wave it Shoot it if I wave it Do yourself a favor, save yourself Cause I can't save it He's been the league MVP, but he's never been the finals MVP. You're Bill Russell, 2017 finals MVP, Kevin Durant. <laughs>